The unveiling of Bright House Network Stadium here in Orlando. It's Texas, the sixth ranked Longhorns, taking on the UCF Knights. And a moment ago, we were in. You and team, enjoy yourselves. It would almost be impossible not for them to enjoy themselves in this atmosphere and down in the middle of it all. For Central Florida, David, they built this stadium in basically a year. And it's amazing some of the projects that go around, not only in college football, but professional sports. And UCF built a building in one season, and here they are in their brand new home. Well, they brought it. They brought the stadium online, on time, and under budget. We don't see that very often. I'm from New York. You never see that. <laughs> not in the Apple. Hunter Lawrence will kick off. And a yard deep, it will be Henry Allen. And he is waved back to give the Horns the lead. And he has got it in a mile. They have to get back to the Citrus Bowl to pick up this first down. A great throw, though. Kamar Aiken makes the catch, and he is right at the marker. Second half. That time stands in against the Bush, delivers a strike. And here's another college football. Israel on a keeper. First down, UCF. Point goes play action. Stands in and delivers a strike to Smith. Inside the 10. Knocked out of bounds inside the 5. Done for Israel. Inside. Touchdown, Kevin Smith. There's a flag down on the far side. For now. And now it's Chris Obanaya in the game on second and goal at the six. McCoy to the air. Slips one over the middle. An easy touchdown. Back to the ground. The crease for Kevin Smith. Maintains his footing and has a first down. And tie the game. And the kick has the distance. He's got it. From 47 yards out, we're tied it. And it sets up third and 11 on the sack. Here comes the pressure. To the outside, McCoy tries to beat it and cannot find Lima Swede. Go completed a third and 14 earlier for a first down. This time, 14 of 17. And make it 15 of 8. Charles up the middle. First down and then some. Walk the football. Charles fumbles it inside the three. UCF thinks they have it. And they do. Of all three timeouts here in the first half. And it's the backup quarterback, Michael Greco, who fumbles the football. This is the first opportunity he has in the game. And the first play run by Greco, he coughs it up. Field. McCoy with time. Buying himself some more time under pressure. Stays on his feet and then goes down. The pocket finally collapses. And Bailey's kick. No good. Come on. To replace Griffin. Underneath, there's a should have been completion. Israel over his last six. A tip ball intercepted. An easy walk into the end zone for Brandon Foster. Advantage of the turnovers that you created late in the second quarter. So what amounts to is a down and distance that an offensive coordinator loves. Second down and two. Charles breaks free. Breaks another tackle. Deep into UCF territory and stays on his feet. Seven-yard field goal in the first half for Michael Torres. Plenty of leg for Bailey. And it down and eight. A four-man front for the Longhorn. They pinch a linebacker up and show blitz. Here they come. A delayed blitz. Israel stands in. Delivers to the outside. Israel. First down. Running room for Smith. Gets to the outside. Kevin Smith. Touchdown. They mark him out at the three-yard line. Of Israel, they go right back to him. Up the middle, he's in. Touchdown, Central Florida. And that time Smith made sure. And it's a one-possession game early in the belt. I don't like it here. I, I, I think you give up too much field position if you don't convert. Israel, deep for us. And it's intercepted. What a break for Central Florida. I completely agree. That was not the right move to go for it on fourth and 12. Downfield taking a shot for Nate Jones McCoy, and that's intercepted by Joe Burnett. Central Florida gets it right back. For the Knights, first and ten right at midfield. And now it's back in the hands of the franchise back. He's making moves. Kevin Smith breaks free. Inside the 20-yard line before he's hauled down. Inside the one. Smith stopped short. Now what? Third down from the two-yard line, I don't like it, but again, you know, it's a non-conference game. O'Leary rolling the dice. And he brings Israel at the goal line. Does he get in? Well, he make us look like dopes with that. This drive as well. They rush only three. It's a screen to Nate Jones. Brought down. 
well shy of the first down after pick Florida. A 40-yard field goal attempt by Ryan Bailey to give Texas the lead once again, and he is perfect. Israel buying some time, tucks it under, flags down as Israel spins out short of the first down. Moses Sr., Donnell Neal, first and ten, play action. McCoy being chased, lets it go down the sideline. Shipley's got it, first down deep. 37-yard attempt for Ryan Bailey. And he is good once again. Hard. Maybe another keeper. Yes, Israel to the outside. Can he get to the sticks? He can and more. Lost the football on the way down. It somehow stays in bounds. Is that a fumble? Or is Israel down by contact? The officials seem to be marking it as a recovery for Texas. First down, flags down. This is a free play for Texas. Does it look like Central Florida jumped in the neutral zone? And here goes Jamal Charles to the house. Touchdown for the Longhorns. That was not a classic Texas performance. There goes Charles with the first down. Lost the football. He fumbled it. It's picked up by UCF. Kyle Israel back to the air. To the outside, the catch made. Sergio Joaquin down. It shows blitz. Here they come. Israel has time. Dumps it over the middle. It's caught. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Goes Kamari. Now they have a chance to go for two and cut the lead to three. Israel pumps at the goal line. Jay Coward lets it go. It was loose for a moment, but covered up by Texas. Thanks very much. George O'Leary's team certainly has a lot to be proud of, but it's a moral victory as Texas wins it 35 to 30. Bulls face perhaps their biggest test in 2013. Four and one Central Florida is in town. State and South Carolina had a career high in the South Carolina three-point loss. Play fake again on second down. This time complete goes right back to J.J. Warden who is laid out. Bortles rolls. Finds Storm Johnson who has room to run. Big block on the outside to send Storm Johnson in. On third and eight to the end zone. It is tipped and intercepted. It's Calvin Pryor. Picked up. Bridgewater hit as he throws to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Eli Rogers. Bortles pressure. A three and out. Light show pressure on first down. Louisville picks it up, leaving a wide open right blow for the Knights. Upset chances. Fake the toss. Bridgewater rolling, throwing complete. Fumble! Hubble! Which by rule is a touchback. The ball will be placed at a 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for UCF. Got Did they get him to move? Certainly there was... Offsides. Defense number two. On second and nine, complete. That's Storm Johnson out of the backfield. Storm Johnson has the first down this time in the loop. Pressure. Incomplete. Rolling on third down. Bridgewater looking for a block. Throws it at the last second. Parker makes the grab right around the stick. Checked out. Storm Johnson shakes his way for a first down and more. Tripped up inside the Louisville 40. This defense he called up. I don't know. Time to throw for Blake Bortles. Now he has room to run, and Blake Bortles goes scrambling inside the 20. He move along. That's Rennell Hall who takes the handoff and fumbles. Scooped up, recovered by Central Florida. Stand. Stand back. Touchdown. UCF is a PAT away from tying it.
Bridgewater complete. Converting again on third down. It's Damian Copeland. To the end zone again. It is caught for a touchdown. And there's Devontae Parker. His football IQ, all elite. Pistol on first down, Brown again. Touchdown, Louisville. Opening coin toss and deferred, so bobble on the punt by Caleb Houston. Loose football is scooped up by the Cardinals. Sprinting in for a Cardinal touchdown is the true freshman, James Quick. Hide my madness, Carter. It is madness. Blake Bortles heaving on third and three. That's caught. Brashad Perryman hauls it in. Bortles hands off to Storm Johnson. Good block on the outside. Johnson cuts it back inside the 10. Bortles complete. That's Perry. Fumble. UCF recovers. 3.53 to go in the third. Bortles sets up the screen. This is Storm Johnson again. Johnson reverses field and takes it in for a touchdown. And we're back to a one-score game in Louisville. Play action. Bridgewater heaves it long for Copeland. Incomplete. Bortles pulls it, throws complete. That's when El Hall ring backs. So it's Stanback, the true freshman, shaking outside. William Stanback knocked out of bounds. Stanback again, picking his way inside the five. Touchdown, Central Florida. And UCF is a PAT away from tying it. Bridgewater hands off to Dominique Brown, who's dropped in the backfield. Borders, pressure. Blake Bortles dumps it out of bounds from Orlando from 34. And for the first time in 2013, the look, the undefeated season in the balance on fourth down. Bridgewater. Incomplete. Knocked away. Intended for Devontae Parker, but here's a flip. 15 yards in the previous spot. First down. Championship aspirations of the Louisville Cardinals. On second and 20, complete. That's Michael Lee Harris. Bridgewater pressured. He will scramble, toss, complete. First and 10. Bridgewater hands off. Dominique Brown shaking his way all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville. Cardinals on top. Bortles on second and five, complete. That's Josh Reese still rolling inside the third. Bortles, slam, caught, Godfrey. Play clock to four. Bortles, complete, that's Reese. First down. Bortles rolling to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, UCF. The Knights grab the lead with 23 seconds remaining. Five seconds left. One last shot for Bridgewater and the Cardinals. The deep ball all the way to the end zone. It is knocked away, and Central Florida hands Louisville its first loss of 2013. Biggest win in UCF history, upsetting eighth-ranked Louisville. Final score, Louisville.
And we welcome you back to ESPN's college football presentation of the 2014 Tostitos Fiesta Bowl from University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, just outside the city of Phoenix. 53 points per game plus. Bortles can run. Both of these big men can run from the quarterback position. And Blake's all the way to the 45-yard line of Baylor. The field on first and 10. Good start for Central Florida. The underdogs. Storm Johnson. Storming into the red zone and down. Johnson. Touchdown. What a start for Central Florida. This old school off to a great start. Blake Bortles look out, hit as he throws, has a receiver open. Rashad Perryman out of bounds inside the 20. They'll mark. They do. Johnson, another touchdown. Two yards short of the 35, the yard to make. Seastrunk. Down inside the 10. And now they line up very quickly. And Petty shoves it in. That's almost unfair for the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. On their own 43, lots of running room for Antoine Goodley. They dragged the safety. Fourth and eight, and they're going for it. And Petty slipped down. Looked like a quarterback draw. But on this natural grass turf, he fell down. Central Florida was one of them. George O'Leary said if it didn't work out, we were going to make him a tight end. He's throwing deep. Single coverage, and it's intercepted by Dimitri Goodson. Intended for Rennell Hall and Blake Bortles under pressure. It's deflected and intercepted. Tipped to the line of scrimmage and Eddie Lackey picked it off. Of attempts without throwing interceptions. Not tonight. Petty down the middle and caught at the 10. Levi Norwood cuts down Baylor. Make you pay. Whoa, problems on the hold. For Brody Trahan trying to run for two, and he doesn't get there. Yeah, he's thinking about going into the NFL draft. He's not helping his stock tonight with his throwing. He's three out of nine. Storm Johnson lost the football, and it's the third turnover of the half. Sam Hall again. Andy linebacker. Third and five. Lost it right to Brandon Alexander. So the Baylor Bears hand it right back. Two stand back. Doug once coached for George at Georgia Tech. Rennell Hall off to the races. Looking for a block. He gets help from Josh Reese and scores. Fake to Seastrunk. And the catch made. Coleman running free. Yanked down by Petty. Has some running room. Has a first down, has a touchdown. Up and up. Nice pocket for Bortles, and he takes advantage with a strike to J.J. Wharton. Under a minute to go. One timeout for the Knights. Rennell Hall. Touchdown, Central Florida. Another great downfield block by Josh Reese. Starting to get a little bit of that with the quick screen game. Set it up. Down the middle, they're in field goal range. Levi Norwood. Plenty of leg to do this, particularly indoors. That needs the hook. It did not. Bryce Petty, the play fake, and the completion. Jay Lee, inside the five. Where are they going to mark it? Our recruits or lower. Petty Cage, touchdown. Something that you might want to look at because that's a matchup you like. Petty faked it on the fly sweep action and goes in again. Blake Bortles slipped a bit but stayed on his feet. Has a man open. Jeff Godfrey. Design rollout for Bortles. Corner of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Rashad Perriman. Just beyond it. Second and seven. Quarterback draw. And it's a BCS game. Bortles has another crease. He has a touchdown. 
George O'Leary's done a very nice job tonight. They tried to blitz and didn't get there. And here's Fuller across the middle. Inside the 10 and wrestled down by Clayton Gethers. 27-yard play. Up the middle. Glasgow Martin, a touchdown. And again, sack yardage comes off the rushing total. Throws it downfield. There's a flag down. Portals down the middle and caught in traffic. Here without his heroics in their last-minute win at Temple. Storm Johnson. He's going to score. Touchdown. And because of all the work that Portals does at the line, but they weren't going to make a big effort to take it down all the way every time. Perhaps now they will. Late in the game, Portals got free and found hard to put it behind him. And with every win, it gets further and further behind him. And he Petty. It's caught by Fuller. Touchdown. With Clayton Gathers right there. Bortles takes another knee. And they don't have to snap it again. Relative to the rest of college football, it's a Knights program still in its infancy. Tyson Summers, terrific job as the stand-in defensive coordinator against the Gatorade bath. The only remaining unbeaten team in the state of Florida is right here in Orlando. 15th ranked UCF squares up with South Florida. Football, this senior out of Miami. All day to throw. And has Mitchell Wilcox for a first down. Tyree McCants with space. And there goes Tyree McCants. Inside the five and in! What a touchdown! Slick handoff to Killings. And the speedster is into the... Dumps it off for Killings out of the backfield. And he gets shut down by Colin McGee. Very strong in the red zone. Milton with a little bit of magic for a touchdown! Plenty of time. Looking for Elkana Dillon, who comes back to the ball and has the ball playoff rankings. It's Johnson burrowing, and he looks to be short on the initial spot. Milton running out of time. And he kept his feet somehow. They deserve from the college ball playoff committee. Anderson on the edge. And he's in this offense. Milton has a man. It is caught. Touchdown UCF. Dredrick Snelson. Flowers has a man. What a snare by McCants. The second huge play for Tyree McCants. They've got one. Flowers will toss it up to the sideline for Emilio Nadelman. First time he has missed since the Tulane game. Got another one here in UCF. Milton with a beautiful senior start. I think that was a misidentification by the official. Milton with a late pitch to Killens. And UCF with another impressive score. They get the snap off. To Solomon. Incomplete. Utilizing his legs just yet. Plenty of time. Has a man loose. McCants again. Down near the 25 of UCF. Corner blitz. Flowers to the end zone. What a catch. Temi Alaka. Touchdown Bulls! Four-man rush. Griffin nearly had him. Flowers for McCants again! Down to the 44-yard line. In Here comes the blitz from UCF. And Flowers is forced to throw it away. Bruce Hector, Deidre Sinat. Off the fingertips of Traquan Smith.
Flowers making some magic happen with his legs into UCF territory. Flowers sees an alley. Flowers, end zone, Wilcox, touchdown ball. Flowers looking for Marquez Valdez, Scantling. And Quentin Flowers, easy yards. Flowers to Valdez, Scantling, what a pick by Mike Hughes. His escapability, making plays in the run game as well. Jordan Aikens is wide open. 11 seconds left in the game. Devastating. How about Milton? All the proper mechanics. There's Milton. Able to shoot. Alabama has to go on the road, the number one team. We'll hear the new rankings and see him on Tuesday night on ESPN. Milton tosses it. Incomplete, and the Bulls take over. Looking for McCants again. Incomplete. Landed at UCF with George O'Leary. Milton, under pressure. Fun. Incredible story. One of the best in college football. First down, Traquan Smith. Milton to the end zone. It is caught. Gabriel Davis, touchdown to UCF. Dylan the block. And twist the touchdown. Bowling. And playing tight against Arkansas in that rivalry game. Milton picked off. Lottie Hoggins with the interception. Flowers. Has not been shy about using his feet to make it happen. Touchdown Bulls and South Florida leads. Milton connecting. Milton has the first down. Boise State number 23 in the rankings. Milton, dangerous throw, and it is intercepted by Jamon Thomas with a penalty marker thrown. Make a play. Holding. Defense, number three. Ten yard penalty. Automatic, first down. Billy put his hand down and stand up. Milton has a man wide open downfield. Snelson, touchdown, tie game. Flowers tosses it up there for Solomon. Is it a catch? It is. What a play on a desperation heave. Milton. Incomplete, but a flag is thrown. Two, in fact. Pass interference. Defense number three. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. He's in position to ice this game. Still three minutes to play. Milton, huge completion to Smith inside the 25. Big blitz from the Bulls. It's a screen against the blitz. The perfect play. Otis Anderson may have sealed the deal for UCF. Moves inside of two minutes. Flowers has a man. It is caught. Darnell Solomon, touchdown balls! Flowers, looking, has a man, tie game! Dearness Johnson, and we are knotted up with a minute 41 to go. Mike Hughes. With a head of steam. And Mike Hughes, the kicker to beat. Do you believe it? Knights take the lead on a Hughes touchdown.
Lowers to the sticks for the first down. Wilcox lost the football. UCF has it with 39 seconds to go. Well, Mitchell Wilcox picks up the first down, and Richie Grant punches the ball out. And how about the man who jumps on it? Should From Orlando, it is, in fact, Dr. Pepper Championship Week. This is the American Athletic Conference Championship. Gain of six on first down. On second, Ferguson to throw off for Henderson. He's got the first down and plenty more. Four points a game in the last seven. That ball is out and loose, and it's, it's recovered. Let's see. Not to say they have it, they do. I'm the UCF and follow Scott Frost, and he has not disappointed. Second and 15, Milton's going to run it. Make a couple people miss, and he's them all up and down the field today. Here's third down and three. Good protection, and the throw able to complete. And they've been playing football since 1912. Here's Milton. Found a soft spot in the defense. It's Snelson again. Snelson to the end zone. There's our first touchdown of the afternoon. Here's Ferguson. Checks it down to Taylor. Gets back to the line. Talked with him yesterday. Got a great perspective on his role in this team. After the Spencer Smith 55-yard punt. Great job covering picks in the NFL. Of course, his twin brother is already in the NFL. It's Seattle. Otis Anderson ripping off huge yardage, and he has just slowed up enough before he is dropped at the 18-yard line. Yards away. He's only attempted 12 field goals all season. And number 13 is a Ferguson. And they'll give it to Taylor. Got a crease, got the first down, and plenty more. Here's Patrick Taylor trying to run away from people. They got a fullback in. He's actually a defensive lineman. And the handoff to Patrick Taylor for the touchdown. And the Tigers are on the board. to be September the 30th. Here's Milton. Down the sideline. It's caught by Aikens again. Took the cut. Three touchdowns. Played the Texas Rangers farm system. Here's Milton. Lofty one. It's Aikens again. And it might as well be a home run for Jordan Aikens. Touchdown, UCF. Try to squeeze out one more play with these offenses. Why not? Little free football down the middle of the field. Able to hook up with Sean Dykes. Fix. Here's Ferguson to throw. Got a man. It's Tony Pollard. And it's a touchdown. Here's Milton the throw, great pocket for him. And a beauty of a throw on the money to Cam Stewart. It's the bounce house. Here's Mackenzie Milton. Got him in down the sideline. It's perfect. It's Traquan Smith. And it's another touchdown for UCF. To take out one of the big boys in that game and then get a whole lot of love from the country. Here's Daryl Henderson down the sideline making people miss. And he's still in bounce. Word is you always have to keep that in the back of your mind. Here's Henderson. Good first step. Puts a foot step in the ground and then takes off for the touchdown. Daryl Henderson. Out in the adjustment we see he's gonna make, and he throws it on time. Going quick here, pumps to the right down the middle of the field. It's Snelson! And he is dropped from behind. And he doesn't want to get caught looking down at his sheet. They're gonna throw it. Here's Anderson, and it is. On second down and ten. Milton the throw. It's batted up in the air, and it is intercepted. Second turnover. Ferguson the throw. And complete. Devin. Capacity about 44,000 people. Ferguson the throw. Down the field. Wide open is Anthony Miller. Trying to beat two guys down the sideline. And angles in for the touchdown. Here's Milton to throw. Great pocket for him. Out ahead. Able to get Traquan Smith. Went up to get it. Like, pass interference. Defense number 14. And the declines. Result of the play is, is the first down. Him scrambling. That's all I want. Here's third down and one. Milton on the option. Dished it up. I'm surprised they're not taking a look at that. 
Here's Milton. Again, great protection. Now it breaks down and he'll scramble. Mackenzie Milton. Time for a cup of coffee and a touchdown pass. No. Alloway's not very merry. He's being liberal with that. <laughs> Here's third and eight. And it is dropped. Holding. Defense, number two. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Over 750 yards of total offense and looking for more. That one is intercepted. It's Carter, and he'll run it out. The true freshman we just spoke about. Flag for a penalty. He responds. Good shot of Isaac on the sideline. In the last couple games in a row. Middle of the field. It's open. It's Sean Dykes again. With five ticks left. True freshman kicker on the way. And he's muddy. Turnovers in red zone. We can get off the field on third down. There's Milton right up the middle. Plenty of green. And he's got a touchdown. Mackenzie Milton for the score. Turnover is the big difference. Ferguson to throw. Got a man wide open. It's Sean Dykes. Dykes continues to rip off big plays. And he stumbles down. Ferguson, quick throw. And it's caught by Miller. <laughs> Ferguson to check it down to Henderson. And it's away. On the way. And he splits the upright from the right. Had so many opportunities to score. Milton to his left. And now to his right. And now to study step. It's the McKenzie Milton show. Zero pass rush right now on Milton. Second and three. Milton. Able to get away from Jonathan Wilson and complete and the second effort for a first down. Milton rushing for 45 yards so far. And he'll throw the ball this time. It's Smith. Got it. Great ball, Smith. Touchdown. Go on that throw. Ferguson. Wanted to throw it. Instead, he's dumped. The New Year's six. And every other bowl game matchup. People are excited about it. Adrian Killens with an exciting play. You can add that to his repertoire. It'd be really dangerous. Here's a chance. Milton finds a man with a C. Michael Cumbiali was ejected for targeting. That's played a role as well. Here's Mackenzie Milton on the run and throwing, and it's caught. Frederick Snelson for the touchdown. Play for the team. <laughs> Here's second and five. Ferguson on the run, he's in trouble. Able to spin away. Now throw. Here after this fourth quarter. Tough day to be a defensive coordinator. Might have to come up with one stop. One stop. Second and 13. Here's Ferguson taking a shot up top, and it is knocked away. Lee Patterson on the way, and it is no good. Conference, Mike Oresco yesterday, and that's their hope. Milton here, another backfield pass. And that is caught. I think that's the reason why UCF has a realistic shot of keeping Scott from. Here's Milton throwing for it, and it's lost. Here's Matthew Wright from 31 yards away. And Wright is perfect. Second down and six on the ground. Here's Pollard making people miss, staying in bounds. Tony Pollard, one of the easiest touchdowns they'll ever score. How about 66? On their way. It's a brilliant championship weekend in college football. Otis Anderson. And four-minute offense is not their forte. On the ground. Second down and six. They're not using all the play clock, though. Had 19 on it. Milton to throw. Snelson trying to receive. For your help. Ferguson throwing to Tony Pollard. No. Ferguson to throw. That way, and it's Anthony Miller. Did he hang on? He did. Touchdown. Ferguson to throw. Incomplete. The flag comes in. Pass interference. Defense number 20. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Him run the football. Out of the 15. Ferguson to throw. Good time. Man wide open for the touchdown. Three receivers top of your screen. 
Milton is going to pitch to Killens. Turns the corner, gets there. Touchdown. So from the 10 now, Milton fakes the option. He'll keep it himself. Mackenzie Milton bangs down of a two. On the ground, Otis Anderson trying to find the second hole there. There's the indication. Fourth and seven. Here's your ball game. Here's your championship. Ferguson throws and completes. What a catch! Ferguson pressure thrown intercepted. It's intercepted. That's your ball game. Trey Neal on the pick. The Knights of UCF are the American Athletic Conference champions. Their perfect season remains intact. Likely bid for the Peach Bowl as Scott Frost runs towards the tunnel. Welcome to the 2018 Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. In our matchup, the Auburn Tigers, led by Carrion Johnson, the SEC Offensive Player of the Year. The Tigers are, of course, handed Alabama and Georgia their only losses of the season before falling in the SEC title game on this very field. And UCF, their quest for perfection is one step from completion. Today, in Scott Frost's final game as the head coach of the Knights, they face their biggest challenge. Play fake on the first play of the game. Sidham was trying to go downfield. Instead, he goes down to the turf. A sack for UCF. Milton, a designed quarterback run, kind of picking his way through. He found a hole. Second and 10. Milton fumbled the ball. And it's out on the turf. Auburn picks it up. Griffin backed off with the pressure. Now Stidham dancing around. Trying to look downfield and hits his man. What a throw and catch for an Auburn first down. Chip shot for him, 25 yards. Good snap, good hold, good kick. What's new? On third down, he slings that one into traffic and it's incomplete. Get it done. And they'll hand it off to Johnson. This time into the open field and gets tripped up. Hits the turf. Play clock under five. They get it snapped. Pressure picked up. Stidham down the middle of the field. Complete for a first down into UCF territory. Third and long for Auburn. Just converted one a moment ago. Stidham will convert another one. That's a catch. And an He's deeper. And goes the other way. Play fake. Stidham slips again. Wow. D3 yard try on the turf indoors. Kick is up. And it is pushed. No good. Defense has to find itself and get itself in rhythm after a long layoff as well. That was a big penalty. Milton, who can run, will get the first down. Diving out toward midfield. Best thing for a quarterback to get into rhythm. Play fake. Milton throws on the run, and that's his best delivery for a first down. Upfield inside the third and ten. Milton design run with a blocker out in front. Milton's going to get the first down and more down the sideline inside the 20. Unreliable from the left hash. Kick is up and it is good. And UCF has tied this game with the field goal. And I think he's going to get a chance to play in the NFL. Jet sweep. The cut up field. A broken tackle. And that will get Auburn the first down. Eli stole. That was tough running. Under 10 minutes to go. First half. That was a botched play from the start, and the ball's out. Scooped up by UCF with a block down the sideline. Trey Neal. Milton pressured, gets away. Milton going to run inside the 10. Touchdown. Johnson on Stidham's left side. Quick release out into the open field, and that's a first down Auburn. Outside, go for it. Only the three points here in the first half. Griffin gets right into the backfield, and he gets Stidham down. Showing a four-man rush. They'll bring four. Milton in the pocket. 
He has a man wide open and he couldn't hit Anderson. That was a touchdown. Yep. That field four out of the timeout. Pressure picked up initially. That one across the middle for a first down and more. Ryan Davis in the open field inside the 35. Still on his feet. Getting the ball to their record-setting pass catcher. That's his fourth straight catch. Stidham down the sideline. Into coverage. Almost intercepted. Mike Hughes all over Darius Slayton. Out on the right side. Just a pure pass rush from him. And he and his teammates get there. Carlson right down the middle up and good He's impactful Milton back to pass steps up it kind of opens up in front of him McKenzie Milton with that speed will get close to midfield These guys on that D line need to turn it up Matthew Wright the kicker getting ready that one well delivered and this time his receiver hangs on Trakely on the back end Milton in the pocket gonna run again Milton, can he squirt through? Diving forward, takes a hit. Try for Matthew Wright, his long this year, 47. This kick is on the way, and it is good. It's said and done. They've dominated time of possession, 21 to 9, and they got to get back to playing their brand of ball. A returnable kickoff here to start the second half. And a little stutter step move out into the open field. Along the left sideline, Auburn with the big play in special teams. Noig being a Gini, the freshman. And second down and long, Griffin rushing the passer. Stidham, touchdown! A penalty flag thrown, but Will Hastings hangs on. And they just send four, Milton steps up. Milton will throw, and it's caught, but the big hit. And that will stop the night short. Second and nine. We'll hand the ball off straight ahead with a hole and a nice gain. That's Cam left side of the line. Third and seven. Stidham will throw, and this time Slayton has the catch. Auburn's offense looks totally different. Second and two to Ryan Davis. Nice cut inside the ten, inside the five. First earn the touchdown to pay it off and down the red zone. They get the ball snapped quickly. Johnson, touchdown. Auburn back ahead. Second and ten. That one down the sideline, right into the bucket. Killens, they motion him and fake it to him. Milton now throws, and it is tipped up and incomplete. And we're done here. Third and seven. Milton scrambling. Is he going to try to run? He throws into coverage. Almost intercepted. Third and a long six. Stidham with pressure coming. Now trying to scramble. Penalty flag thrown. That's going to be a hold. The pass is incomplete anyway. He's going to need to throw it here. Pressured immediately. He got rid of it, and it is caught in traffic by the tight end, Jordan Akins. Anderson in motion. Milton steps up with time. Now throws back across. Complete inside the 15. Anders, 18 yards. Play fake. Screen with blockers. Anderson. Pushing. Touchdown. Third and 13. Stidham pressured immediately. Stidham goes down. The message was we have the momentum. Go take the game. Final quarter for the greatest team in the history of this program. Trying to cap it off with a perfect season. It Killens in motion. They fake it to him. Milton. He wants to go downfield. He does complete. Another first down, the freshman Gabe Davis. One. Milton looking his way. Milton throws his way. Contested ball. Catch made. He held on and stayed inbound. Convinced him After to coach. After reviewing the play, the receiver is going to the ground in the process of making a catch. When he hits the ground, he loses control and the ball hits the ground. It's an incomplete pass. Third and one, he will. Milton, first down. And all the way in quarter, second a goal. A little fake reverse, Milton, almost like a basketball player. Touchdown! What a play! He put a move on! Gets their first sack. Milton, pressured again, steps up, that quickness, there he goes! Out into the open, first down and more. In. Milton, pressure picked up, down the field and caught! Perfect pass! Traquan Smith kicks of his life 
and it's blocked. Orleans first down Auburn. Stidham wants to go downfield. He's going deep to Slayton who adjusts and it's knocked away. But here comes the flag. Pass interference. Defense number 14. Cool and take it one play at a time. Stidham in the pocket. Throws. It's intercepted. And it's going the other way. Burkett. Touchdown. Fake. And a little give on the end around. Touchdown. Eli Stove. Milton, play fake. Going to throw across the middle. Catch. First down and more. Down to the 25. Jordan. Milton, handoff. Anderson, straight ahead. And Auburn will use its final timeout. Snap, hold. Kick is. No good. He missed it left. Fourth and eight. Does he have one more in him? Stidham steps up. It is caught by Hastings. He's going to find the soft spots. Stidham going deep. Slayton out there. And it is incomplete. Incomplete. He tried to adjust. in motion on second and ten with 40 seconds to go. Stidham throws middle, and he's got a completion inside the 25 in motion. Now the clock winds. Good rush. Stidham under pressure. Throws it. Intercepted. I don't know if he was trying to throw it away or what. But UCF is 24 seconds away from perfection. The true freshman Collier. Play at the end. Perfection. Wow. New Year's Day 2018, a day that that coach, those players, and this program will never, ever forget. What a win and what a season for UCF. Malik Davis, the running back, best starting position for Florida in their three possessions. Emory Jones looking for a place to throw, now has to tuck it away, and he'll be brought down behind the line. And that was Cam Good. They put a tight end to the right, three receivers to the left. Jones wants to throw back, gamble the catch, wide open, inside the 10, and it's first and goal at the... Just hand this to Pierce, don't you, Roddy? Absolutely. And Pierce to the goal line and into the end zone with the Florida touchdown. For manageable early downs is going to be key. Second down and long. Richardson trying to get the run game cranked up. Here's UCS best run of the night with Johnny Richardson into Florida territory and inside the 35. Kair Elam takes Richardson down. Field goes a block. Quick snap. Bowser touchdown. Saw them early this year and then later this year. His Louisiana team, those were teams that were built with great play on the line of scrimmage. Throw downfield, big time grab. Rick Wells holds on that time. He works back to the tight end for a nice game. Here's the reverse, and this is O'Keefe with room. At the 20, 15, and inside the 10 goes Ryan O'Keefe. Here the longest was 40. And this is good, and UCF has the lead. Jones will keep it and has lots of room. 40 and dives toward the 48-yard line. Jones. Florida with new life and plus territory. Jones winds and throws and the catch is made. Just kick is away. And Florida goes back in front with 96 seconds to go. Yep, here's the third and ten out of the timeout. And my goodness, Brenton Cox. All right, so here is the freshman from Chandler, Arizona, Mikey Keene to work. And Bowser, open field, midfield, and into Florida territory goes Isaiah Bowser. Jones up in the pocket, and UCF is there. All been a part of the run game, but with Bowser back tonight. And here's the reverse, and O'Keefe again spinning to the near side. And Ryan O'Keefe keeps his feet out of a tackle, and it's a race now. Can he get to the end zone? Pulled down at the foot. To the out of bounds to the sideline. They do not review it. Bowser.
Bowser fighting. Touchdown, UCF. It is certainly a it is certainly a, a penalty. I from that angle it looked more like a push than a punch. Here's Davis changing gears, made a man miss. And down the far side with a lead of six. Davis sprints through at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Florida. Left to right angle. And the kick is good. The Knights have raced to a nine-point lead. Ryan O'Keefe does such a good job of stacking the defensive back, so when he gets a step, he tries to get just in front of Trevelle. Four and 74 and a 54-yard touchdown catch. Maybe be a double-triple. And here's Emory Jones from the 20 trying to get the Gators stocked, and what a catch. Jones, 13 of 30 for 141. 20-yard throw gets the Gators started. He'll try another one down the far side. That's Copeland. He and Hodges, a lot of hand fight. A couple of years ago against UCF, ironically. Here's Keane, backside throw. And this is Richardson, who's got plenty of speed. Makes a man miss. Richardson cut back midfield and got hammered. Almost 200 yards total offense tonight for O'Keefe. Delay, and here's Bowser. First down and more. Bowser inside the 20. Barsky, who's hit tonight from 34 and 21. And the kick is away, and good. 29-17. UCF is the champion. R.J. Harvey, direct snap. He keeps it, and now UCF has a touchdown to start the ball game. Plumley toward the end zone for a touchdown to Kobe Hudson. Off the turnover, the Knights capitalize. Three, Florida. 10 of 14 this season. The locals greet him with a boom. On third down, he throws it up with a flag down for Hudson, who makes the catch. Hudson's off to the races. He is gone. 75 yards. Seen on first down, it's Bowman down the center of the field and picked. Tomorrow. 25 after last week in Bedlam. He was two for two on a couple of short ones. He connects and on second down. Bowman locks this one into coverage and he's picked again. It just so happens that Demar Henderson. Oh, here we go. Here goes RJ Harvey. Take it off. Harvey inside the 20. 92. Pressure on third down, and there's Hudson for a touchdown. He's got another. John Rice Plumley to the air, and he's taking a sideline shot for Baker. Oh, man. What a catch by Javon Baker. DJ Finn. Plumley taking a shot for Baker again. Contest. RJ Harvey keeping and scoring. UCF dominant tonight. DF dominant start to finish 45-3 here in Orlando at the bounce house. That wraps it up for RG3, Chris Budden and RG3.